G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. Right here in front of me I've got my 1846 RCA Iconoscope, made in the early 40s, and uh, my 1970s era RCA Plumicon TV camera tube deflection yoke. Basically, um, in this video I'm just talking about how I'm going to fit this Iconoscope tube inside this yoke. Anyway, this joke is actually, um, the tube will actually fit in easily, but too easily because the, the uh, tube yoke is is um, a bit wider by about um, a few millimetres. So hence, here yeah, to be a very loose fit. And to um, remedy that issue, um, I decided to roll some cardboard paper to make this tube fit more snugly. Then the other problem is, is the fact the tube neck is a lot more slender than, or a bit more slender than the tube base. So I can, so if, even if I could get it to fit around the neck and stick it inside of, it, the tube base wouldn't go through that cardboard tubing. So um, to fix that issue, I decided that I'm gonna wrap some cardboard around the tube neck and so hence the tube can easily slide on in and fit nice and snugly. I'm not going to de demonstrate putting it in because it is a bit fiddly and I'm a little bit paranoid about breaking this tube. They don't come easy, obviously. So hence I'm just, just going to talk about it for this demonstration. But anyway, so yep, I'm going to, going to wrap this around the tube neck and tape it. I'm going to tape this up and have it sitting inside the yoke. I've actually stripped the yoke down. I mean, in the last video you would you would have seen it had it had its um, preamp uh, mounted on top of it. I've removed that and I removed the um, the the uh, plug from the from the from the uh, tube's deflection wires. So I'm left with pretty much just the basic assembly. Still can adjust the the uh, tube positioning and rotate it and all that sort of thing. I actually wanted to get it outside of this uh, unit because it's it's a bit cumbersome and don't think I can fit it inside the the um, camera unit or the enclosure, shall I say, that I'm using for this camera. But either way, this is mainly for testing purposes. I may not, in the end, use this yoke, but um, wind my own yoke. Because it is actually quite big. The problem is with this yoke, it's actually about 9 centimeters in uh, length, whereas the length of the actual yoke used for this tube is about 6 centimeters. And I'm not sure if um, having extra length of deflection would, would muck up the deflection of this tube, making it... Making it um, not do um, not producing anything tangible or anything recognizable. But anyway, um, should this work, I should get a trapezoidal looking black and white picture when I put it all together. Another problem too is the fact that this um, tube's not going to go right down in because, as you can see, there is um, still um, a bit of extra metal before the edge, and that's also a problem too. So I can't deflect it right from the from from the top to the bottom of the uh, tube neck. Can't have it right right over it. Anyway, I'm going to discuss this all with my with my tech friend Richard and see what he says. But um, yeah, the plan next is to um, after putting the the cardboard tube uh, paper tubing in, um, is to cushion the metal outer rings so that way the tube doesn't clang against it and possibly break because yeah like I said I, I definitely don't want to break this tube anyway yeah, and also um, I've got to work out which wire is what for the deflection because yeah I've got no idea which wire goes to which coil but I'll probably will have some idea when once I I can I can at least pair up each wire together and work out which go, um work out which ones are paired up and 
in turn work work out uh, which coils are what. I'm guessing um, from what I see, the uh, horizontal coils, the resistance would be much lower than that of the vertical coils. And the focus coil, I'm not so sure what the resistance of that is, so that would be a bit of a problem to find out. Then, uh, then after that's a matter of working out which direction to connect the connect the uh, de the deflection circuit or uh, which wires connect the deflection circuit to. Because in my Viticon camera, I connected it the wrong way around, and from memory, I did not get a picture of what's well, just going by memory. But if it goes the opposite right way around, then I'm then I'm okay with that. But yeah, I think I didn't get a picture at all. Anyway, that's my latest update on my Iconoscope project. Hopefully I'll get things all full steam ahead and get it all put together. So yeah, stay tuned for the next update. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.